Grand Horizon family gets another beautiful day, loving air remain of it. Now listen, these two clips I'm gonna put here. I do not own the copyrights of the clips, it's not my opinion. I'm just saying if the shit goes down, prepare yourself. Because either way it goes down, I don't give a shit because four sides to me the same bullshit. The left and the right is the same bullshit to me, but the way these people are talking and the way it's looking, it's gonna be, it's might be scary. So prepare yourself, stay close to fucking home. Stay close to home. If you can call off and work, call off and stay home, folks. I mean here in America, not worldwide. Here in the US, in the so-called divided states, because there's nothing here united. Here in the divided states, because like I said before, there's nothing here united. All right, folks, until then, stay vigilant, stay aware. Protect you and your family at all times. Stuck around for yourself in case shit goes down. You don't have to leave your house. You got to wear that things that I'm holding up, getting up. I've been here. It look a little bit scary to me. All right. Like I said, these two clips I'm going to put here, I do not own the rights of the clips. It's for awareness purposes only. Only then, be loving and kind, giving and caring, humble, respectful, and give thanks to your creator, whoever you might conceive him or her to be. Pray for the best. Peace out. One love. Subscribe, share, thumbs up. Out here. A garbage can. Donald Trump describes America, a country that has given him more than he deserved, including a presidency he had zero qualifications for, as a garbage can. Donald Trump's grandfather, Friedrich Drumpf, came to this country from Bavaria, a.k.a. Germany, in 1885 as a 16-year-old draft dodger. He bought the one-way steamship ship ticket in order to avoid compulsory military service in his home country. That is an example that his grandson, Cadet Bone Spurs, would later follow to keep from serving in Vietnam. Among the jobs the teenage coward wound up doing here in America were working as a barber and allegedly as a pimp, running a saloon where he rented female prostitutes to gold prospectors since he had failed as a gold prospector himself. He eventually invested in real estate in New York, married a fellow German, and tried to go home. But Germany stripped him of his citizenship for draft dodging, and he returned to the U.S. for good. Lucky us. His middle child, Fred, was Donald Trump's father. Fred inherited New York properties from his father and built his real estate, his real estate empire by becoming a slumlord in Queens, New York, taking advantage of generous tax incentives while also being a prolific tax evader, best known for buying up and ruining Coney Island. He used to lie about his German heritage, pretending to be Swedish so he could do business with Jewish New Yorkers while getting sued by the Nixon administration for refusing to rent apartments to black New Yorkers. Donald Trump's mother, born Marianne McLeod, was an immigrant, too, from Scotland. She was working as a maid when she met Fred, but pretty soon, with Fred on her arm, she was sporting fur coats and jewels while refusing to let her own nieces and nephews have free access to the coin laundry in the buildings the Trumps let them live in, and sometimes withholding heat, according to her niece, Mary Trump. And then there's Donald, a man who was born with $317 million in the bank, who, after Fred helped him get into UPenn and then handed over his real estate empire, promptly lost $900 million on bad real estate and casino investments. He was saved by Russian money and then by Mark Burnett when he was dead broke, but a good enough performer to land a job as the star of The Apprentice on NBC. And that fame, despite his having actually no actual skills, convinced enough Americans that he should be president that he defeated a former first lady, U.S. senator, and secretary of state, Hillary Clinton, despite losing the popular vote by three million votes. He and his family have done nothing but grift off this country. They stole and took and have given nothing back. Trump and his adult sons are banned from doing business in the state of New York for committing charities fraud. They didn't pay taxes and scammed the state to the point where Trump now owes the state of New York nearly $500 million. Donald Trump has a lot of effing nerve calling this country a country that has given him every undeserved benefit a mediocre, garish, tacky, creepy sex pest, whiner, and felon could possibly imagine. A garbage can because of immigrants? 
who, unlike his cynical, sociopathic immigrant family, have actually given this country something in return. If it's not, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I think so. This is the last great hope. Yeah. And I think she will destroy it. Civil war, there'd be a revolution. Well, you think that'd be, if he's not in or if he is in? I guarantee if they steal it, there'd be a revolution. We the people own plenty of firearms. There's more gun owners than enlisted servicemen, and they are not going to go against patriots. I don't care what color camouflage comes after me. If you're going to try to put me in a detention camp or try to re-educate me, I'll kill you. I just think what you're saying about the potential for people taking arms and being violent, I mean, that's quite scary. This is the holy war in the United States. We're fighting for God by voting for Trump.